Right, what's going on friends, this is Jake of JG Calisthenics and today, as the title of this video suggests, we're going to go over how to do the tuck front lever because obviously, you know, if we can do the tuck front lever, it will then build us the base to do the full front lever. Obviously, with that said, I feel, from my experience, I found this three best straight arm exercises to help you with, you know, achieving the tuck front lever as a whole and obviously, in this video, we're going to go over all three exercises right now. I've got camera right now, which I'm talking to you. I've also got camera behind me if I need to show any back views as obviously, we will be working the back a lot right in this video. So I'll see the first exercise, we're going to start from beginner to advanced. So the first one is simply an arch in pulling. Now this is a way of basically again starting for the front lever. So we're going to start, hands about shoulder width or just outside shoulder width, palms pronated like you would in the front lever. And from here what we're going to do is it's not like a scapular pull up as so like this, but we're simply going to arch back more and raise our chest up a bit more. So you'll find a bit of an arch in the lower back, um, which is obviously will help you raise up higher and will obviously transition and carry to the front. Lever. So as I said, so on dead hang, retract to press hard, come down and then repeat. Obviously, if you come less range of motion, it's easier. As you come more range of motion or keeping the elbow straight, then obviously that way is going to make things harder. So obviously you want to do which one works best for you based on your strength level and work from there. It's best to start off lighter so you can learn a technique and build upon there rather than starting up higher and then having to like completely retrace your steps, right? Now the second one is an arch and pull in with a knee raise, right? So again, this is going to further increase the intensity and it's, as I said, like the first one, it's a dynamic variation for the tuck front lever. So it's literally the same as an arch and pull in. I'm going to pull up, but we're going to knee raise as so. And as you can see from obviously pulling the knees up, we're obviously not going to engage the core a bit more, but we're going to require more strength in the traps, the lats and the back, again, which will transition and carry over more to the front lever. So to demonstrate that again, same hand placement, and again, same cues as the arch and pull in. And we're simply going to pull our knees to our chest, lower down, and repeat. So obviously, as you can tell, that the intensity is going to depend on your you know, how much you pull. So obviously the more you do the pulling, as I said in the first exercise, the harder it's gonna be. At the same time, the knee raise, you wanna start off with this and make it easier. And obviously you pull less up, and just do a knee raise as so. Whereas to make it harder, you would pull back more and pull literally into a tuck front lever as so. You follow me so far? Now, that's the two exercises done. The third one, which is obviously a jump in intensity compared to the previous two is a tuck front lever pull. So again, it's a dynamic variation where you're literally going in and out of like a tuck front lever. So I uh, said, same hand placement from here. So I'm going to pull up hard, feet to the bar, lower down control and repeat. As so now a mistake a lot of people made with this initially at start is that they won't actually pull with the back and the scapula. They will literally just flop up. And from that, you're literally not actually using or activating any muscles to any extent whatsoever. So you don't want to do that. What you want to do is that you want to initiate the scapula first, then pull the body up, right? And so obviously the more momentum you use and leg drive, the easier it's going to be. Whereas the less you use, harder it's going to be. And same cues as before, if you pull back more, it's going to be harder compared to not pulling back with the back muscles as much. So again, just to demonstrate a few more reps. Pull, pull, low down, with control. Pull, pull, low down, with control. And you'll find that as you do this, you'll literally be able to actually hold a full tuck front lever, which will obviously help you uh, dynamic variations like the tuck front lever rows which is get, again, a great bent arm strengthening exercise. So as a whole, if you can do both of them, then as I said at the start of the video, you're gonna be able to build the base further for actually progressing on to more advanced front lever variations like the front lever, front lever rows, which again, I'm not quite at myself, but I'm obviously progressing onto that myself as well. So with that said, if you enjoyed this video, you gained some value and you would actually like more specific support and guidance with, let's say, you're at like a beginner to intermediate stage, you feel that you're very good at pull-ups, push-ups, dips and such, but you feel like you've kind of plateaued because you don't actually know the right exercise progressions or I guess you could say how to structure your programs in a way in which will actually help you 
progressed towards more advanced variations of calisthenics, like the front lever, right? And also you can actually check out the first link in the description below. That's do provide one-on-one -on -one coaching to help you achieve exactly that. And um, yeah, as I said, first link in the description below, I'll link it there. With that said, I don't know why I'm so far away, but well, I said, if you enjoyed this video, oh, it's because of the lighting. It's because of the lighting. Let's step back a little. If you enjoyed this video, you like my content, and you enjoyed watching every single minute, every single second of this video, make sure to give this video a cheeky thumbs up and comment down below what I would love to know is what you want to see next. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share this with a friend or friends you believe will benefit from these gains. And so that's enough for me today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, my friend, as a crew member of the Games Express. Keep moving forward.